I've not seen such bravery. By now you've surely heard of Five Nights at Freddy's, the indie horror sensation that's been causing Let's Player's view counts to skyrocket. If you haven't, the concept is simple. You're the night shift security guard at a pizza place and the animatronic animals are out to kill you. All you're able to do is watch on security cameras, flicker some lights on and off, and close two doors to keep them out if they get close. Essentially, you're at the center of a game of Pac-Man and these mascots are wandering around trying to pop in on you. Once it got noticed, the game spread like wildfire, and I was asked over and over what I thought about it. So, here you go. I think that Five Nights at Freddy's popularity was ultimately its downfall for me. See, there's really only one mechanic here. Watch the cameras, close the doors. That's all you do, and if you close the doors at the correct times, you win. Closing the doors and looking at the cameras uses up battery power, though, so most of the time you're just kind of sitting there and waiting. You see, this is where the game would put suspense if it had any. Okay, so it's not Freddy's fault the game doesn't seem suspenseful to me, I place the blame on the endless information stream known as the internet. The game was, and more or less still is, popping up all over the web, and unlike some horror games, there's no digging deeper into Freddy's. If you've seen one episode of one playthrough of the game, you pretty much know what to expect. Sitting, waiting, and an occasional jump scare. If this was a game I just happened to stumble across on some indie game site, I'm pretty sure I would have found it really scary, at least for a long enough time to get my money's worth. But since I went in knowing exactly what I was getting into, I was bored to say the least. Does this mean I think it's a bad game? No. It means I don't think I can give a fair assessment of the game. In fact, I think it's a pretty creepy concept, and it's refreshing to see a horror game doing something different. But it's definitely a game that seems like it would be better if you know next to nothing about it. And it's especially better if you haven't seen any of the porn that it spawned. If this is your first time hearing about the game, or if jump scares are just your favorite thing ever, think about giving it a shot. But if you've already watched your favorite Let's Player complete the entire game, I'd probably say it's best to just skip it.